Well, hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the first half of November 2018 Love and Romance, Career and Finance, Spiritual Guidance reading. Uh, the messages I am already feeling for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female is that someone in the past, the Sagittarius energy, and thank you for those of you who do clarify that these are indeed your readings, uh, there was something that, or someone, that Sagittarius wanted to connect with and to, uh, but Spirit was trying to tell them to be careful what you wish for, Sagittarius, when it comes to uh, meetings, negotiations, connections with others. Uh, there, It was and still is a strong desire to figure out if, someone or something is going to bring you financial contentment and stability in your life. So in the first week of November 2018, when I look at these two Lenormand spreads, we've got what is my long-term future? Who is that karmic person? Are they karmically meant for me? Um, is this the path I'm supposed to be on? Or have I made mistakes through my confusion? Okay, so that could be in love, that could be in business, that could be in however this applies to you. Now, in the first week and a half or so of November 2018, this Sagittarius is starting to feel pretty darn good about themselves. They're feeling like a kid again. Uh, I think day to day, they're working on uh, recognizing old mistakes, recognizing what it is they used to wish for, but they're now sitting in the position of observation. I know not to take any steps when I'm confused. I know that I need to be careful what I wish for when it comes to a connection, communication, or meetings with others. Therefore, I'm going to recognize that the path I'm currently walking is indeed a beautiful, blessed path, and that I'm okay in the path by which I currently reside. Okay, so again, by the second week of November 2018, uh, I feel like the Sagittarius is saying, you know what, I'm good. I understand that connection, that experience, that circumstance or situation that happened in my past was to teach me more about myself. Uh, therefore, that spiritual path, that spiritual test or lesson is now over. And um, it could have been with someone who was at a distance. That connection has indeed gone full circle. And I feel like this is just in the first couple weeks of November 2018, for whatever reason, this Sagittarius is coming to that realization. Now, by mid-November 2018, the Sagittarius is thinking, okay, so how do I bridge my path from where I'm at into one that is content and happy and joyful? It could be that by mid-November 2018, uh, some sort of social media or social connection has got Sagittarius, again, wondering about their future path. Uh, why? Because I feel mid-November 2018 is when this Sagittarius receives a message or some form of communication at their home, within their home, uh, once again. So... <clears throat> that leads them back into, okay, there's this communication via social media. Do I make changes within my current home environment and bridge this communication that I know came to a spiritual end in the past that I know could have led me to make some bad choices? So I've been called to bring in the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed and I'm going to do a circle spread to clarify the messages we've already discussed. So card number one is very clear to me. Uh, this particular, okay, so in, in the beginning of November 2018, Spirit is saying this person who's been waiting and observing maybe a financially abundant situation, uh, whether or not someone is devoted to them, should I or shouldn't I meet up and connect with this person or situation, I know that I need to be careful what I'm wishing for because of my confusion, there is indeed going to be a change in the wind. Why? Because I think uh, this is a very clear message for Sagittarius is that you have indeed been blessed and protected either by someone who has passed before you, your spirit guides, angels, the dear Lord in heaven. They are giving you a leg up to see things from a proper perspective. Okay, in your relationship sector, Sagittarius, uh, there is someone who was hoping, wishing, and praying that this other 
person or the path that they're currently in is the right path for them. And I do feel like Spirit is saying you are indeed with your soulmate if you're in a partnership and we're wondering about that. Uh, you are currently in the path financially that you were meant to be in. So give thanks to that and recognize how far you've come. In the first week and a half or so of November 2018, the Sagittarius has said, yes, I've been through a long and difficult path, but I'm being reborn. I'm coming out on the other side. I'm understanding through this some sort of change in the wind that spirit has been protecting me when it comes to my soulmate connection. Now, in your actions position, by the middle of November 2018 for Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising male or female, your actions are making this change in the wind, this rebirth within you, help for you to give birth to something wonderful in your life that has to do with the internet, social media, some sort of new beginning, new path, new future for yourself. Wow. And emotionally, your cup is being overfilled. I think by spirit, blessings are indeed coming your way and you're going to be glad. That spirit stood by you and helped for you to go through this spiritual transformation. Amen. So in your subconscious, Sagittarius is in the first half of November 2018. Remember, it's a time to just sit and observe and give thanks to the people, places, circumstances, and paths by which you ha already have transpiring in your path at this time. Give thanks to spirit. That you have made it through maybe beyond some sort of temptation to make a mistake. Day to day recognize that if you have with the unfinished symphony energies. If you haven't been receiving messages back. If you've been waiting for something that never came. It's because it wasn't meant to. Spirit was trying to protect you. So they're asking for you to bring things to a positive note. To recognize the change in the wind. That you've been reborn and have come out on the other side because spirit was protecting you when it came to connections with others in your life. Those who are in your path at this time, co-workers, friends, however it applies, you are where you're supposed to be. So spirit is giving Sagittarius the strength to just roll around in that milk and honey. To give thanks for the wonderful blue skies and the sunshine each and every day. And as Sagittarius does that and takes action to create new ideas, projects, gifts, talents, or skills in their life, there is something that is going to be born through their actions by mid-November 2018. Wow, this is super exciting. So in a three-card summary, we've got the first week of November 2018 where a message may come towards uh, Saggies. Somebody may be tempting Saggies. A message may come and you may think, you know, is this my karmic path? Is this my karmic direction? But I do feel like upon closer observation to the reality of the situation, this Sagittarius is saying, you know what? I know that I was more focused on maybe financial abundance and security tied to this person. I didn't even know if this person or situation was as devoted to me. Therefore, I need to be careful or I'm glad I was careful when it came to what I was wishing for. I can now release the energies of inner chaos and conflict by focusing on the building blocks energies. I'm building a solid foundation beneath myself when it comes to my creative projects, ideas, goals, intentions. I know that as I put my work into my own current foundation, Spirit is going to bring me a beautiful treasure on the back of this magical tortoise. I need to know that as I am doing things in a fair and balanced way, in my own path, in connection to my paths with others, that as I plant new seeds, I'm going to remain flexible. As I create new ideas, goals, and intentions, I'm going to recognize that those who are around me, my tribe, my family, my friends, my soulmates, they are the ones who have helped to support my creativity, my ideas, the things that I am creating with my imagination. Therefore, I'm eager to stay in the path I'm on and to give birth to more ideas, goals, and intentions instead of... Uh, <clears throat> Worrying about 
unfinished communication tied to my past. So in the first week and a half or two of November 2018, Spirit saying, breathe and give thanks to this spiritual transformation. What transpired in the past is now falling away and you are indeed being reborn. You are indeed coming to the realization that a connection is ending with someone maybe who was at a distance or who was waiting somehow and coming to the realization as well that they just are not for you. Don't allow yourself to feel the orphaned energies, worrying about another, not giving thanks to the path, our own path right? We are all sent here to walk our own independent path and to not get hung up on another entity or human being. If they don't answer, if they don't connect with you, it's because spirit is protecting you. Pay attention to the serendipity of new projects and ideas, of new connections. Uh, know that you have manifested a lot of wisdom and knowledge Sagittarius and as you come together with another try to figure out ahead of time will this leopard co-create with me in a balanced way or will they devour my heart and soul remember the higher power is here in your thoughts to give you clarity and a leg up when it comes to old cycles and patterns pray to spirit to replace your old desires with new goals and intentions and know that the Father, Son, Holy Ghost is helping for you to remain poised in the here and now. Because now is a time by the second week of November 2018 to look back at what transpired, where you are now, and how you're going to move forward. To recognize that all that glitters is not gold when we make it up in our head. That as the glitter blows away and the mask comes off, we begin to look at maybe our deeper selves or the deeper selves of another and realize that that wasn't exactly what we thought it was meant to be, especially if things weren't done by the book. If things weren't done as Jesus would do them. That indeed was a test for a particular Sagittarius energy. So by mid-November 2018, Spirit is saying... You've done a good job. You've chopped the wood. You can now sit back and give thanks to the wonderful blessings that are already in your life. The fire that you can warm by and the beauty of the fire that you've manifested by doing the hard work. Truth be told, you may have connected with someone or something in the past because you mirrored each other. But now you've learned a lot in this knowledge and experience being represented by the owl is offering for you to put on a new mask to move into a new direction to manifest new creative projects hobbies gifts talents or skills to uh, meditate to spirit for changes you can make in the beautiful home by which you currently reside as you are finding and are being blessed with great peace and the ability to mend from some sort of test So there's the mending of a test, and then I feel like somebody's going to come back and maybe test Saggies again, or the gift is on its way for a new life because Saggies replace their desires with exciting goals and intentions that can now come true. And Spirit's saying, when these goals and intentions regarding creativity and finances come your way, you are going to be flowing in the milk and honey energies. Uh, there are going to be great changes and wonderful blessings that are going to make you feel fantastic, Saggies, by mid-November 2018. So let's bring in the Wisdom of the House of Night deck for spiritual advice and guidance for Saggies, please, for the first half of, half of November 2018. Okay, so the change in the wind has to do with success. So this Sag knows that success is coming. By be the beginning of November, I think Sagis are going to find some sort of clarity when it comes to business or creative ideas or projects. Know in your thoughts position, Spirit's giving you a leg up when it comes to any sort of temptation, no matter how badly this uh, Sagittarius wants to go through this doorway of temptation. 
It's being blocked by a cement wall in order to protect you. Again, day to day, this Sagi may be waiting for messages that are not coming and it's because spirit is blocking them one way or another. So in the relationship sector, when it comes to soulmates, spirit saying, give thanks to the wonderful fulfillment and the connections you already have in your life. By the second week of November 2018, you guys are going to feel like you're reborn. Why? Because you're going to recognize that something has gone full circle when it comes to someone who is at a distance or waiting. You're being reborn because hopefully you're taking the time, Sagittarius, to become invisible, to go into your own space and look at the reflection in your golden mirror of the child within. I have learned through past mistakes and errors. I have learned with the obedience energies that I need to be clear about my goals and intentions and my future direction my boundaries because somehow I ended up with a blindfold on swinging my sword in the dark feeling off balance but now that I'm taking off the blindfold and setting my goals and intentions through my actions position in the circle spread I'm going to see that something new is coming to life for me when it comes to finances and prosperity or creative ideas I'm going to feel on top of the world by mid-November 2018 because I'm listening closely not to what people tell me but to their actions I am much more clear by the middle of November 2018, says Sagittarius, because subconsciously I've taken time to observe and to focus intently on what success means to me. As day to day, there haven't been messages coming in, but at some point, maybe by mid-November 2018, that message you are waiting for finally shows up. And Spirit saying, after you have grown emotionally and spiritually through the first half of November 2018, Sagittarius, the Choices Angel is going to come in when a message shows up and you are needing to make the right decision, right? He's got a white wing and a black wing. Are you going to make a good choice or a bad choice? Spirit's giving you the strength to make the choice of milk and honey, happiness and joy, fulfillment and contentment through your own goals and intentions and happiness with the fulfillment of the path you are already on. So by mid-November 2018, this particular Sagittarius is flowing in their milk and honey, enjoying their life because they've brought a conclusion to a connection or situation that they weren't thinking clearly about. Yes. They were focused instead on lust and passion, which has nothing to do with love, but spirit helped for this particular Sagittarius to focus on their goals and intentions, their individuality, their skills and their talents, so that they could let go of a lustful, passionate connection. In the first couple weeks, of November 2018 as you continue to focus on your own goals and intentions have hope Sagittarius that spirit is going to light the path ahead of you as you take time like we talked about to become invisible to sit in the woods in your grove with your couch your kitty cat and your blanket and to recognize the spiritual transformation the rebirth that you have gone through because of a mistake that you did or almost did or made in the past you now have the high priestess of spirit who's guiding you in the first couple weeks of november 2018 to bring you to the truth of your situation as you set new goals and intentions for yourself and the truth is for this sagittarius is that someone does not see the connection in the same way that you do that's why messages haven't come in and you've been in denial of that this particular Sagittarius is understanding that love is all around them already. The Sagittarius needs to know that what they're wishing for could turn into a great complication because they've been feeling trapped. 
and that by mid-November 2018, it is the Sagittarius playful energies that they need to be honest about. How was the Sagittarius being playful in a way that was not honest? I feel like the Sagittarius by mid-November 2018 is going to recognize unhealthy cycles and patterns that made them feel stuck and trapped. They're going to learn that they, they themselves brought these chaotic energies into their path. This has been quite a journey. And the test is going to come. That message that Sag was waiting for is going to come. And Spirit's saying, by that time, you will have acquired the net, uh, energies of the warrior where you are strong not only within you with Spirit and around you to be able to make the right decision when it comes to the communication that is headed your way. Again, Spirit's giving you the strength to bring a situation to a conclusion, Sagittarius, with which you were blindfolded before. And as you do so, and you make the right decisions on your behalf and on the behalf of those who are already in your life path, new and beautiful things are going to be born into your path that you will be happy and excited about. If you'd like a personal reading, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. My price list is below, and I am offering a fall-winter special, which is a 15-minute uh, video reading for just $25. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and God bless.